Hey guys, welcome back to um, my playthrough of all the mods on Minecraft 1.9.4. It's Ozhound here. Um, I'm starting episode 3. I've done a bit of um, things in between episodes, as you can see. I've sort of tidied up this area a little bit, got rid of the, mis the mismatched cobblestone and put some glass in here. I um, haven't changed any machines around this stage I have actually upgraded my uh, tool bench to a tool forge which means that now I can craft the tier 2 items the uh, the hammer, the excavator, lumberjack, cleaver and the shuriken not that I've ever made a shuriken um, but these are pretty cool uh, hammer a broad mining tool, harvest blocks in a wide range I think it starts off 3x3 three three, but then you can add upgrades to it which increases the height and the width excavator same thing it uh, digs your soil, snow, um, in a 3x3 three three area to start with. It can be upgraded. Lumberjacks is the same. It can top down the entire tree in uh, one um, one cycle. Cleaver. haven't used a cleaver before. Um, but I would assume that it would be good for beheading zombies and stuff. And uh, while we're talking about tinker tools, let me just sleep. Get rid of this night. I actually um, figured out in this version, you can actually use clay in place of the aluminium brass for a once off uh, use. So, your clay, and of course, you put down. I'm actually going to start uh, get rid of my hammer and make um, the tinker tool equivalent. So I'm going to do that now. I'll show you guys what needs to be done. So normally in the other versions you'd have um, the aluminium brass here, but obviously I can't get that because I need the crusher to make to process the alumina ore. So we click on the item that we want to come out of the faucet which is clay and then we just right click here allow that to set it destroys I don't think it ever used to destroy the tool tool part that you put in there but it does now uh, Some more iron, I think. Six ingots. Because these are heavy tier two stuff, um, they use a bit more than the tier one stuff. Have some more material. Iron. More iron in here. done a lot of mining in between episodes as you can see I've built up I found diamonds I haven't gone down to mine that obsidian that I created in the last episode but we'll do that shortly and I found a stack more alumina as well and what I noticed too is with uh, what well, I found a village which was north of here let's get outside so it comes up to the map this village here and um, in it I found this swapping wand which is um, acts very similar to the Thormacraft um, wand with the orb that uh, a transmutation orb or something like that it actually swaps out the blocks for whatever you're doing so if you want to say if I want to get rid of this I want to replace this dirt and say stone, get some stone first. Have the item that you're actually replacing it with has to be in the inventory. So you sneak, right click to select the block you want to replace. 
and then you press the equal to sign and that'll change the actual area. Now point the note um, that this takes experience every time you activate this. So now I right click, there you go, stone. Right click, right click. And see how my experience went down about one level? Didn't notice that was happening because what I was doing, I was walking and I was doing mining and I was replacing the ores with cobblestone that I didn't want to dig up rather than leave holes all over the ground. Um, and then it said, Do you have random experience? And I went, Beauty, didn't know that, now I do. I say for this iron should be ready. Yep, iron's ready to go. Molten iron, stack that as the active. Put this here. So yeah, it destroyed that. Aluminium brass won't destroy. You can use the uh, the casts over and over again. That's taken a long time to set. There must be a lot of iron in that. See how much this stuff takes. I've got so that's nine plus four is thirteen. Oh, it took three ingots. Yeah, the head is obviously the uh, the big cost factor in that. So then we go to hammer. Oh. What have I done here? Selected the completely wrong recipe. Epic. So I need two of these plates. And you probably noticed in the last episode I had a normal chest here. I didn't realise that I didn't have a pattern chest. Now I've got a pattern chest and it links whatever's in the pattern chest into the rest of the tinker tools namely the part builder so I need I need two of these because I need to create two with the clay get some more clay whatever that may be Should have left that there, but anyway. Fine. That looks like it's going to take up a lot. Yeah, that took up a lot. Might have to drop some more iron in there. I am going through a lot of iron. tool I want to create as well guys is the uh, the morpher tool now this is a very cool oh, there we go locked up every now and again this thing just when you go and search for stuff in um, in JI it just yeah pauses like that morphing tool what this bad boy does it emulates um, wrenches and other tools for specific mods. So instead of having 
three or four different wrenches to handle different machine types um, you can actually just have one and in its raw state it doesn't do anything but as soon as you bind it to say the Yetta wrench when you look at a, an item like Ender IO tools you require the Yetta wrench that will actually um, change to the Yetta wrench and when you look away it turns back to the Morpher tool which is cool I'm really struggling to keep up with the, uh, the coal demand of this thing but what I did notice is that with coal and this swapping wand if you can swap the coal blocks with the swapping wand which I highly recommend doing because when you put it into a sag mill one coal block creates three coal I'm not sure how much drops from a coal block I haven't actually checked before I guess I better do that because it actually takes a while to grind that out okay iron no not ready yeah that's ready iron hasn't got near the durability that this bronze hammer has it's got 3000 but it can mine diamond level that can mine diamond level as well but it doesn't really tell you all right let's go and give that bad boy a bash catch as well so we'll go down and mine that obsidian and then build an ender portal interesting <laughs> so yeah I want to build that morpher tool when I get these um, this obsidian build the nether portal which way was this place? Yeah, build the nether portal. Get some glowstone. Um, no, nah, it's not along here. Because glowstone would be really good. Glowstone is basically my next progression. I'll don't really have a lot else I can do until I get glowstone dust but the nether in these modded worlds is always quite aggressive be interesting to see what this mod pack does to transform the nether let's have a look at see how much but no coal one coal okay so 
what we want to do is swap the coal because each coal block I don't want to be doing that change that back to cobblestone I've got plenty of cobblestone and so now I've got coal oh, that'll that'll put that in the segment a little grind down to three coal and more often than not a uh, piece of coal power powder so if you're struggling for coal and you're at a level where you can we've got a sag mill definitely use this swapping wand you can't I've already tried this but yeah So I didn't realise there was still more lava underneath there. That's a bit painful. And as per usual, I didn't empty my inventory before I came down here. Right. Currently harvestable negative. This is the same lava. Alright guys, I'm gonna mine some of this obsidian um, and then we'll come back. Okay guys, um, just in light of having discovered more lava, what I usually do when I do this stuff is I chuck a water block there, um, and then I just continue to mine. So what happens is when you break this, hopefully, it'll turn to uh, obsidian before you lose the drop. Yeah, I picked it up and it turned to obsidian, which is good. So I just need... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I need twelve, don't I? To create a portal. Well, that was lucky because the water didn't reach that far. So it's lucky that wasn't lava. that there. Let's go back up to the surface and create ourselves a portal. Right, where am I going to put this portal? I think I might put it in a lower level down here. Yeah. Let's put it here. Clear out some space. Put up some light. Yeah, appetite or this is for making fertilizer for forestry. Might need 
bunch of this to begin with. But anyway, no, let's go this way. Um, let's make this flush. Just hit that center block. Doesn't matter. Right, so we need to go four across. Let's do it here. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Is it two? Two by two? Or is it three? It's been a long time. No. So uh, I always do this too, and it's like I don't know, I need to mine that buddy obsidian away again. I think there's water above here, so hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully there isn't water just here. Shall we go through and take a look at what's on the other side? Oh, I think so. Nighter, or oh, mm, interesting. This is the stuff here that I want. This would allow me to make uh, black quartz, which is one of the ingredients of the crusher, and the um, what was the other thing I needed. To make the uh, these resonant crystals, atomic reconstructor. Casing, which needs the black quartz, I think. Bog standard pigment, whatever the hell that is. Hell cow. 
demon cow. Awesome. I don't have any. And a demon chicken by the looks of it. Uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, would they drop? Solidified experience. That won't be anything really. Yeah, quarter of a level. Uh, there's some glowstone up there. Dark. Oh, the, the nether was this dark. Is that sulfur or pyrite? Nether iron ore. the redstone experience I know that random mods mobs walk through those uh, portals so I'm just gonna chuck all that off chuck a door there what's that nighter I don't know what that is Found this uh, that won't do anything either. Found this resonating ore as well, which looks pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna make the book for deep resonance at some point. Come back in a sec. Right, guys. I've, as you can see, I've created um, the atomic reconstructor. At the moment, 
um, it is set to uh, redstone mode on deactivation so in order to enable it um, we flick a lever and then it shoots a laser out every time it shoots a laser out it takes a thousand RF maybe maybe it might be when it actually detects something but it shoots a laser until it hits a solid block when it hits a solid block it looks around its immediate vicinity to items which can be um, converted so those items can be blocks of that stuff it's interesting there was a section that I was looking at before yeah there you go So that's not going to tell me what I wanted to see. Um, all right, so there's like emeralds and lapis and uh, redstone and different types of material actually convert to the to the items in there, the crystals in there. And redstone and crystal is a common item when you craft with actually additions, as with the black quartz that I created, which was created just by putting normal quartz together with um, coal. So let's see how it's done. Switch it on, throw some items, and then it converts them. Easy as that. Job done. So now we can have a look at uh, creating our crusher. I need another iron casing. I made one of them before. In here, iron casing. Uh, I need to make some basic coils. Make two of those. So I need to drop those there. Uh, basic coils. One, two. Then all I need is the f your flint and cobblestone. Flint and cobblestone. So I should be able to create. What does that need? That needs advanced coils. Two crushes. Alrighty. I had this here because I wasn't sure if it was going to convert um, the crystals. And then drop them into a an inventory, but it didn't. And of course, this doesn't have the intelligence as the Ender IO stuff, where you can configure it in and out and stuff like that, which is a shame. But I'm pretty sure you can pipe items into it now and again but we'll see at a later stage at this point in time I just want to process my Illumina or a nice little effect there I wonder if it will output to an inventory to the home page back introduction Huh, nice 
dough. Well, that's an easy way to make dough. But I wonder if it's all, all dictionary friendly and it's compatible with anything else that uses dough. Let's see if this stuff will... Yes. Aluminium, here we come. Item conduit needs pulsating iron nuggets. Which needs pulsating iron. Which needs ender pearls. Of course it does. Okay guys, I think we achieved what we needed to achieve today. Um, just gonna go drop this. Into here. Eh, it won't smelt. Oh, this substratum mod is a nightmare. So there's no way for me to create aluminum brass. I'm stuck with using clay because my aluminium won't smelt in the smeltery. That's clever. Guys, that's really clever. And I'm pretty sure there's aluminium ingots, right? Maybe that's the only way to get it, it's from the nether. Ah, alumina ingot. So I've got to run it through the smelter again to convert it to aluminium. That just seems bizarre. Uh, while I'm at it, I might make some basic capacitors. Because I want to make double layer capacitors. Yes. Right, glowstone, gold, redstone. Pretty sure that doesn't make it go any faster. <laughs> Worth a try. No. Just wait for this to finish. Well, I wanted to quickly make some capacitors and speed this machine up, but yeah, that didn't eventuate. I need to get my gold. I think I'm going to change this to alloys. It might be the other way around. seems to me, I think nether redstone smelts down to normal redstone then I wonder if I can drop that well I probably can drop that straight into the sag mill and it's two for one so that's pretty cool 
nerf with a sag mill gives you another bonus again so in net effect is probably six to eight times um, lots of redstone from a single nether redstone ore but we'll soon find out nine eight at a time and that's just dropping it straight into there that's all right energetic alloy how much did i need for this i think i only needed yeah two and coal dust and two basic caps coal dust coal dust there energetic alloy Yes. Cool. So that's going a bit faster now. Increases energy storage speed range of machines. It doesn't tell you how much by, but it certainly seemed to have throw. Well, I think the original machine is 100,000. Yeah, so that holds three times more energy now, but also probably born, burns more energy. You've got 60 RF per tick, 20 RF per tick. So yeah, three times, burns three times more energy, holds three times more energy, and probably runs two to three times quicker. Right, well, I don't, I don't think I need any more of that. So change that back to what's that creating? Don't know. Furnace. No, doesn't do anything. It's my imagination. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this episode with that. Ozhound finishing up. Um, today we created our nether portal. Um, we created our crusher. We got some aluminium. Um, next episode we will create some plates. Some proper aluminum brass. Actually, I might just see if that will. Where did that aluminium go? Into here, most probably. Aluminium ingot, spelled correctly. Not alumina. Yes. Okay. Mix that with copper or brass. It's brass. And then we're cooking. Okay, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. And uh, we'll see you shortly for episode four.